Hello guys, welcome back to the channel. So first of all, just let me log into your credentials and once you're done with that, just let me come back over here. Just let me scroll down. Now here you can see domains. Just let me click on this verify domains over here. Now just let me wait. Now click on this next over here. Now just let me click on this verify over here. Now just let me wait over here. And it's done. Now just simply click on this hamburger over here and then click on this directory and here you can see groups just simply click over here. Now here we have to just simply create two groups. So for that just simply click on this create group. Now for the first group name what you do just simply come back over here and click on the task number one. Now just simply scroll down. Now from here you can see this name everyone. Just simply copy this name copy like this come back over here and just simply paste over here like this way. Now for the group email just simply paste the same name over here. Now just simply scroll down and just simply wait over here and now click on this next over here now here as you can see announcement only just let me choose that as a access type now no need to make any other changes just let me scroll down and then click on this next now again just let me scroll down and then click on this create a group over here now just simply wait over here and now here you can see add member to everyone just let me click over here wait for a second now and then click on this add member then click on this advance and then click on the checkbox and then click on this add to group. So you are done with the first group. Now for the second group what you do first of all just me click on this group. Now for the second group name just me come back over here scroll down and here you can see the second group name exclusive. Now here I request you please pay attention over here because this group is little bit tricky. So first of all just me copy this name copy like this come back over here and then click on this create group. Now just me paste a name over here. Now for the group email again just me paste a name over here like this way. Now just me scroll down now just me wait over here. Now click on this next. Now I request you please pay attention over here for the second group. Now here you can see entire organization just simply uncheck all this checkbox like this way. Once you're done with that scroll down. Now here you can see who can join this group. So just simply choose only invited user over here. Make sure that for the second group you have to make these two changes. Once you're done with that scroll down and then click on this next. Now just simply wait scroll down and then click on this create group over here. Now just simply wait for a couple of seconds and then click on this done. So you are done with the task number one. Now if you just scroll down and click on this check my progress you will get a score on the task number one without any issue. Just simply wait and watch. Now for the task number two what you do just let me scroll down. So first of all what you do just simply come back over here click on this hamburger over here. Now here you can see building and resource just simply click over here and then click on this manage resource over here. Now just simply wait. Now click on this add buildings over here and then click on this add building over here like this way. Now for the building name just simply type quick lab. Now here you can see floor just simply type one like this way and then click on this add building now just simply wait and it's done now just simply click on this down arrow here and here you can see resources just simply click over here now just simply click on this plus icon like this way now for the resource name what you do just simply come back to the live instructions just simply scroll down and from here you can see interview room just simply copy this name carefully copy like this come back over here and just simply paste over here now for the capacity just simply type 5 and then click on this add resource over here and it's done just simply wait and it's done. Now if you just hover over here you can see manage resource feature. Just simply click over here and then click on this add features over here. Now for the feature name what you do just simply scroll down and from here you can see a refreshment station. Just simply copy this name carefully copy like this come back over here and just simply paste over here and then click on the save wait for a second and then click on this close. Now what you do just simply click on this interview room over here. Now here you can see features just simply click over here. Now if we just simply click over here like this way you can see this feature which we just created. Now click on this refreshment center over here and then click on this save. And it's done. Now if you just scroll down and click on the check my progress for task number 2 you will get a score without any issue. And if the score is not updated for the task number 2 no need to worry because lab take time to update the score. Now task number 3 is very easy. What you do just simply come back over here click on this hamburger and then click on this home over here. Just simply click over here wait for a second. Just simply scroll down. Now here you can see domains just simply click on this add domains over here. Now what you do first of all just for the domain name come back over here and from here just 
just simply copy your password i request you please pay attention copy your password come back over here and just simply paste over here like this way now just simply write dot and com like this way dot com just simply scroll down and then click on this add domains and start verification so over here Now just simply click on this continue, scroll down and then click on this verify my domain. Now this thing is going to take a couple of minutes but if we just simply come back over here and scroll down and check the score for the task number 3, you will get a score without any issue. And if the score is not updated, no need to worry, just simply wait for the disk task get complete and once it's done, you are done with this lab. And as you can see, I got a full score and that's the way we have to complete this lab. If you still have any doubts, please do let me in the comment section. Thanks for watching and have a good day guys.